Welcome to a free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, we're going to learn about calculated query fields. Now, a calculated query field is where you have two or more fields in a query, and you have to calculate a value based on those fields to come up with a new field. That's called a calculated query field. For example, here I have a table called order detail T. I've got my ID for each item, an item name, these are items that are purchased on an order, for example, the quantity of each, so for example, this user purchased two keyboards, one mouse, one monitor, and three DVD drives, and here's the unit price for each, $13, $5.95, and so on. Now, I would like to be able to calculate the line item total which really is just unit price times quantity. But I don't want the user to have to figure that out and type it in. I want access to calculate that for me. So in order to do this, I'm going to put this in a query. You can't put calculations like this in a table. This has to go into a query. So I'll go to Queries, New, Design View, OK. I'll add the order detail T to my query and hit close. Now I cover basic query design in my Access 101 tutorial. If you haven't learned how to do this yet, come to the website and watch that tutorial first. Now here are the fields in here that are in my table. I'll bring down the star by double clicking on it. That'll put all the fields from the table in my query. Now I need to create a new calculated field over here. Okay, I'm going to call this my line total. That's the name of my new field, colon, and then what is the value going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be unit price times quantity. All right, now when I hit Enter or Tab, Access puts the little brackets around my field names. That's fine. And when I run my query now, there's my line total. 2 times 13 is 26. 1 times 595 is 595, and so on. So that is how we create a calculated field in a query. There's no need to save this information in a table because if I need this, all I have to do is refer to this query. I'll just save this query as my order detail queue for query. And now I can simply base any forms, reports, or other queries on this query to get that calculated value. Now that you know how to create calculated query fields, come to the website at accesslearningzone.com question mark GOAC220. That's for my Access 220 course. I cover lots more about calculated query fields in that class. Obviously, this mini tutorial only scratches the surface. There's lots more you can do. Again, accesslearningzone.com question mark GOAC220. And also make sure you visit my free tips and tricks section, accesslearningzone.com slash tips, for many more free tutorials and sample database files such as the one in this tutorial.